and welcome back to the G-Rated Family Gaming Channel. I finally have it, guys. Look, I've got the Copper Crown. Finally. So they've nerfed the event. So if you guys watched the video yesterday that explained how to get all of the stuff, they have made some changes now uh, to it. Uh, on Roblox Twitter page, you can see that they put a link to their blog here. And so basically, in the nerfing of the event, they've greatly reduced the speed required to trigger a cutscene. So basically, you don't have to go as fast to crash into the wall, and you can do it day or night, not just at night. Players only need to rob one of the following. So after you do that, you just rob one of the stores so you know just get one of those you don't have to go rob all three and you can do it day or night so after you do that you're gonna get the token so then you're gonna go to the guys behind the waterfall uh, which is next to the gun store uh, and then you're gonna answer those questions the answers are given to you basically so all you have to do is answer the trivia and the answers are listed in the prompt uh, so and then now basically a third of the car this like the third car of the train always so the third car of the train I didn't notice always had the lockbox sometimes it was the first sometimes it was the second I think this means like every third car because that's not what I got but make sure after you guys have done this you've got this jewelry store and then you've gone and talked to the camping cops if you go into a train and you find gold bars do not go in there do not get more gold bars because it'll give you a token again and then you're gonna have to go back to the camping cops and then you're gonna have to come back only only go in there and only walk forward into it if you actually see the box and then you'll see a little prompt that says oh look there's you this needs a key wait I have a key and then you'll get a game cartridge and then you're gonna go and bring the game cartridge back to the camping cops now a tip for this before you start playing jail of evaders because the game just basically starts without you make sure you know that the a key moves left and the D key moves right so you're gonna want your fingers on the a key the D key and also on the uh, click button because you're gonna have to left click in order to shoot so basically what it is is you're it's a little car and it goes left and right so to move left and right there's little cars that are coming at you and you have to shoot them and I think you have to shoot like 10 of them it's not too hard but it starts fast and if you try to use your arrow keys you're gonna fail and if you fail if you don't get enough you have to start all over from the very beginning you have to get the cutscene again you have to just start from square one so make sure you beat this jail evaders game otherwise you're starting all over and and you can also now play in VIP servers. So uh, if you guys want to use my VIP server, if you're on my friends list, feel free to do that. Uh, so go in, pop in VIP servers, go through it. You can do everything day and night. It's a lot easier now. And then you'll end up with the Copper Crown in your inventory. This is a closer look at it. It looks pretty cool. Lots of owners already because they've nerfed the event. So that makes a huge difference. So that is the first gate of the Ready Player One event. Now, the search is on. For the jade key okay guys so we still don't know what game we haven't had any clues about the game but technically now that we've gotten the copper crown we can go and search for the jade key wherever that is so i'm not sure when we're going to get some clues i think the first clues came out for the copper on uh monday so maybe next monday i think maybe weekly is when they're planning on doing that so we will find out so stay tuned everybody this event is only a quarter done